didn't start a lot this tournament. Lost so many dice rolls. Ding. And I'll once more. This is the yeah, finals. It I is think Bradford. in this matchup it's worse for me to not have the really, really good uh, dice roll I'll take than first. in others. But, I mean, being first is always an advantage. Okay, we drew basically some bad quests and an elk. Right, um, I just keep. And some things I don't think I really want to... I like to play the, the weird These hands. cards do not help us find things that I think go well actually, with um, Thierry, so I think I'll buy I don't know ones. how... I didn't see his hands, but he tends to mulligan a lot for denial, and I think the, the, those are rather weak hands, while the denials are strong cards... Um, the path to win, the, the path to win, usually with this deck isn't that. But he beat you in Swiss, so what do I know? Yeah, with that, I will mulligan my opener. Ah, let's see. This this isn't great, but at least we have a taste. We can kill something. These leaps will probably. Let's go ahead and make one leap a resource. Don't even know what I'll do with the next one, but I'd like to save one journey trigger at least for a turn. Past you. All right, so this is the finals. Spratifer on Shadow Priest versus Rancord on Grand Crusader Paladin. All right, well, Taste kills this. Uh, I might just want to Taste right now just to turn this off. However, keeping Taste in my hand does mean I get to... Hmm. This last really spectating. Okay. One moment. I don't know who Rudnik <clears throat> is. Oh, those are the South African player, right? Yeah. So basically, I'm asking. South African players, Bellacore and Luigi. Do I taste this now? Because he can play some stuff that can turn my hand off in a moment. I'm still thinking here. Yeah, uh, sure. And this this last relic might play a uh, pretty key later on in the game. Leap of faith. I'm slowly <laughs> losing faith in. Perhaps I don't think it's going to do much here. Um, I'd I'd rather just go ahead and row this and. Uh, maybe play a last relic, just do nothing with the turn. Then after that, I can go to Alec and to start questing, maybe, or we can taste. But I think I'd like to keep the taste in my hand. I'll take two and give myself more options next turn. Technically, I get the most options by playing Alec first, so I think I'll do that. Pass. This has been a weird opening hand. It's possible our other opening seven was better than what we mulled to, but we're in it now. Take two. Now I need to think. The way we've designed this game, we can rare bean into a Tahan with no three, quests right. left. Uh, this last relic may just turn into another resource. I say Tihan and go. He says Tihan here. I was just thinking if I could discard if you have Mind Spike, what, what I would discard if I would find the three cards. Tie. That's going to be a good one later on. So we just want to make our way. Uh, we can Taste of Divinity for two here, and then Resource, and then the Taste will deal four. There's no point, though. There's no point in doing that. It doesn't do anything at all. This covers Tahan. I don't think I care about that. Uh, I can play Rare Bean, which triggers this, and then look for a common to get me another resource or to get me a... I'm not really sure yet. I think I just want to go ahead and taste this Naisha off the board so I don't have to deal with her later. And I can spend one mana to do it. Last Relic? Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure it's going to... Play a role this game. I have too much going on. Uh, I, I guess I'd rather save my rare bean then. Every turn has given me a lot more time. And so I just... I can just taste divinity twice and then do nothing with my mana. That seems fine. Mm-hmm. I'll just do it twice. Kill Naisha. Okay. Well, there's a lot of targets for that taste. This is a good matchup for it. It's one of the only ways to kill that 
Bancroft over there, but this also tells him that I probably have a Tahan in hand, which I do not, but I'm, I want him to plan a strategy around me having it. And he's seen that I'm skipping my resources. So we are going to get to the point where we're going to draw real quests, then these six drops are going to come online. And we've slowed down his pressure. He's clearly playing a two-drop here, not a Grand Crusader. And if he does play a Grand Crusader, he's only pumping one character with it. There's a Berta. Okay, wow, we're not drawing a ton right now. If I tithe next turn, I can take Lady Bancroft, and then she blocks Berta. And then the Bancroft dies. Berta only takes two. That play doesn't seem like it works well. Maybe we just rare bean now. Look for a blue card. Although common would give me more resource triggers, but I have nothing to do with that plan. Let's find a blue and see if I can't... I don't know, just at least draw a card here. We'll go ahead and trigger Alec, and then let's name blue. Dispersion and Devouring Plague. And we got a quest. Interesting. We might actually have to take this quest. Devouring Plague does something to our opponent. Uh, does nothing with this turn, though. Uh, we can just keep a Dispersion up, slow the game down, but we're not doing a whole lot. And then we have this quest, which guarantees me 1, 2, 3, 4. I have nothing to do with these triggers, but maybe I just want to take a quest here, just to guarantee that I have something to do. Although this is the opportunity to just play Devouring Plague and see if he can answer that while I deal with his small board. He's going to be able to complete Defias Brotherhood next turn, complete some quests, so do I really want to take my next turn just casting a plague that doesn't do anything? Sounds like a reason for the season, right? <laughs> I think it, it could be. Man, this yeah, quest really lost its value when we pushed the tournament out of December. No, I, I think it's still December for the quest. If we want to play it that way. It makes sense for me because it's stupid otherwise. Then that's that's going to end up being my pick here. Then If we're playing this as December, then I will take yeah, my yeah, resource. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Sorry for the slow phase there. Sure. Uh, that's all for me now. Pass back. Okay, we'll take four this turn. Maybe more if he has a Grand Crusader. Interesting. He expected me to Tihan, probably first, actually. All right, Crusader Kings. Like. Uh, thinking again. So this thing gains a bunch of attack, so it swings for four. Take four. What cards? Hmm, that is unfortunate. Oh, we have a way to trigger our is Alex this a next good turn. Card here? I think this is a terrible. I card. think we want to get into like legacy, slow the game down, insanity something board state, or right, what to play. Tie them to something else type of board state. We could also pay two, draw two next turn. Uh, we'll have five mana, so that takes us. We have three mana left, so we can just leave up tithe next turn. Yeah, I don't know why if I play this guy main. All right, I'm not super afraid of this guy since we no longer have a, a uh, excuse me, a hammer in play. But he does do a lot of damage. His stuff's big now. Let's uh, trigger Elec. Mm -hmm. Draw two. Yeah. Okay, we already placed our resource there, so uh, I don't want to rush into playing a Tahan. It's probably a Dispersion or a Tithe turn. Let's see how he plays it. Leave it on him. Pass back. This pumps 
all allies. So I can borrow his thinking. So he is attacking with a 4-6. I can block with a 4-5. And they both live that way. Lady Bancroft just dies. That doesn't really do much. Maybe I just dispersion and let him put stuff on the board and try to deal with my dispersion that I can steal or do something next turn. Oh wait, this guy doesn't actually have to attack. Hmm. If this guy goes to attack steps, he gets to turn off journey, but do I care? I'm putting in like much bigger cards. I can probably kill this off in a bit. Yeah, he does this to everyone. Still thinking. He the waiting will, card. <laughs> he will turn off assault. If he if he goes that route, I think dispersion just buys me the most time, and I I value that right now. Dispersion. It's here. Okay. All right. Knowing that we cool attack goes through. Yeah. No damage. Mm. Then I will obviously sabotage. You got it. Drop this. Drop her. All right, we are under uh, pressure. Here. I'm not quite sure what to do now. I think two of our leap of faiths are down here. We don't have a way to pull those back up. I don't think we're playing buried secrets. Uh, you can complete some quests here. Start drawing cards. Turn. Hmm. There's a big mine spike. Uh, so we can we can cast the Tahan. I don't really see a point in that though. We can mine spike our opponent's bird now. We can mine spike this retainer. It has five health. We can only deal three. We can't even attack into it. What do we want to insanity? Insanity and Crusader Kings doesn't really do anything. I can insanity this glow hen. I could do that the next turn though. Maybe I just take a turn here where all I'm gonna do is cast a legacy. And now he has to deal with another ongoing ability. That gives me another turn. Uh, how do I, I, again, another thought, big, uh, kind of a big turn here. I mean, we have the mine spike for three. Does that even do anything? Not against most of these characters. I guess I'd like to kill this retainer so we can turn on our Tahan, start pinging things down. And maybe he draws a bunch here and puts a bunch more into play, then we don't get to mine spike much at all. Is that a good enough reason? I go up to six resources, pay two to mine spike. What do I do with my four? I have to resource him so the Tahan just sits in hand. I uh, really don't get anything out of that. Leave up Insanity. I suppose just playing Legacy. I think I like that. Let's put the Elec face down and just cast a Legacy. And that's my turn. Rather than eating one of my opponent's cards. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, four, five guys. So I really can't pressure that. We'll just cast a Legacy. Just slow the game down. Legacy of Let the us Horde. go oh, nuts man. with Mind Spike and Tahan soon. Now, now we're really playing for some big triggers. He gets this much mana to answer my legacy or my dispersion. Dispersion That's goes away anyway. Okay. So yes, we have a lot of pressure facing us. Our keywords don't work. Ah, uh, didn't want to see that. I imagine this will turn off my mind spike, or my insanity, or my tithe. I don't know, he's got several targets here. 
But he knows about the mine spike now. Ah. That's not an easy choice. So obviously it's not mine spike. Although a mine spike is annoying, it's not that. Life war no. Jihan no. Inspect does a lot of damage though if you draw oh you could Yeah Okay. My opponent doesn't know the right call here. Tide gives me the most options, so does insanity. Mind spike lets me impact the board immediately and shred his hand. So he's got to decide with his four quests in play and car two cards in hand. He's got draw four, five, six in in play. Ooh, that's that's safe tithes. All right, I so draw two more cards. Tithe is named. My opponent does a pay one, draw two. He's looking for a Grand Crusader or something to interact with. Like a chipper would work, you could just cast chipper next turn. Another glow hen. Well, we slowed the game down a little bit with this dispersion. I can't cast tithe, so I can shoot this guy with mind spike. Oh, go. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, opponent does not have enough cards to really make these cards like huge impact. We miss our journey trigger this turn. That's just gonna how that's gonna oh, you happen. You should conceal your hand. Oh. Really, just like the way they did that trigger. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like so hard to see. Um, it, it should be that you can't, you know, I find it a cave that the cards you've already seen stay revealed because that's like a Warcraft specialty that you um, can play your cards as resources. Yeah, it's got its own paths. All right, I got to think this turn out a bit. Point didn't attack because I had my dispersion up. No more leaps for, for the most part. We have Legacy on, so no matter what we're going to do, we're probably going to shred his hand. He knows that, but he can untap and draw a bunch. He can complete this for free, or next turn, complete this, and then just draw three fresh, plus another card, plus another card. So he's going to get some stuff in and attack. What do we need to do to stay alive here? If we cast... If we trigger Life Warden, boom, this is plus three. Well, it's going to deal six automatically. So we can Mind Melt to... This deals three plus another two. That's five. Can we kill our opponent? He's at 29. And we can go, that's one, two, three, four, five, doubled to 10. This is one, two, three, doubled to six. So we can do 16. But I don't think that's enough to kill our opponent. He'll have 13 health left. What can we do with a Tahan? So if we lead with. If we lead basically using our journey trigger on well, this is the biggest dude. If we journey trigger this guy uh, Okay, we mind spike here for five or for, for ten, I guess. He dies. Opponent discards hand. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have enough to mind spike exactly. Then we can mind spike for six total. We can kill this retainer Marcus. Then we take a bunch next turn. Uh, probably have another Grand Crusader. So we will take one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then if it's a Grand Crusader, uh, seventeen, fifteen, seventeen, 
19, if this dies, 21, 23, 25. So I take a lethal from a Grand Crusader. So I'd have to leave up a, a uh, I'd have to leave up a, a tithe. Oh no, I have, I have legacy in play. I guess nothing's, nothing's quite lethal. Well, I think we're going to start with a trigger here. What else can I do with insanity? I can take this and he can block a guy every, t every turn at the cost of two health. He deals two back. Uh, I can take a glow hen permanently. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could take a glow hen. Takes my whole turn though. Gives me a 3 5 protector that takes a lot less damage than that. Hmm. With hammer, I can only hit for 2. I think my I'm best. I'm just surfing the web a bit. Yeah, okay. Meanwhile, so if you hear me ticking, I'm just browsing some Arkham. So we decks. stash Life Warden, see what we get. And then we probably need to either Mind Melt or Mind Spike. Maybe it's Mind Melt. You know, mind Spike's cheaper, but Mind Melt. I think I need the triggers. Uh, we can stash Mind Melt, kill this. Then I have my Tithe up, and then I can tie the Protector, block some more damage. Then next turn we might be able to Mind Spike something for more. That or I have to pay five, kill this, and then this, and then I die to Grand Crusader if that happens. Yeah, that's that's a real bad possibility. He gets a lot of looks at Grand Crusader. I don't think I'm dead to it, but I'm real close to it, as opposed to if I get a chance to tie one of these guys. I mean, that was if I'd killed both these creatures, so maybe that's just what I have to do. Um, otherwise, it's I have to find a way to kill this. So I could Mind Spike this for two, then I have four mana left. But not much to do four mana with. I can't really get any attacks through with my Tahan. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, trigger, and then do one of these, and then do the other one. I guess that's the turn. Mind spike this guy, mind melt here. You discard your hand. And then you get to swing for a bunch and draw some more cards. And I hope I don't die. Okay, well I think that's it. Okay, okay. Here's our here's our line. Alright, let's stash this. It's a dispersion. Going mind spike here for three, or f I guess it's a lot more than three, six. Yeah, yeah, that was what I expected you would do. Hmm, Tide gives me so many options here. I think I just want to, even though this is my best chance to mind spike something big. Uh, when I get to tithe one of these and perhaps do a trade, that just gives me a lot of options. So I like that. Although this is my last chance to mind melt something with my mana on a good curve. Maybe I just that was my original play. Stick with it. Or try to get a resource and mind melt next turn. Five, six, seven. With seven, it's going to be hard to... Insa Actually, it'll give me just enough to insanity tithe. I don't care about this guy that much. Oh well, let's hope we don't lose when we have a tithe in hand. We'll just kill this guy. Mm -hmm. Alright, I go ready before draw. I will do both quests for three cards. You got it. Yeah, now I we know that four. we have the dispersion. My One, opponent, like, two, I wanted to get that three, play online. Four. I'm not going to draw a resource next turn. This is not going to get any better. But I know I have the dispersion. 
plus tithe plus insanity. So I've got a lot of chances to. There's one. I guess my opponent needs to go all in and see if he can kill me through my legacy. Then we have a dispersion for the turn after. All uh, right. Should not be dead so. with my legacy. Mm, yeah, Bertha strikes first. So three damage, I guess, huh? Seems right. Six. Jeez, one, tough. two, three, okay. four, five, six. Takes hmm. round to down to three. What a cart. All right. Two, four. Down to two. And one. Actually, let's see. He's a three. Yeah, okay, that's right. Two. Another two. My health is low. Okay, what is our next play? Um, um, um. I can go to Han face down. Insanity, the Grand Crusader, I mean, and then tie I the blocker. Your hand. So, well, let's do the quest here. Your turn. Well, looks like we're going to dispersion, and then my opponent gets to draw his last card for a little while. Well, we gain nothing off playing a Tahan. We can't even attack with it. Can't trigger it. I guess we just dispersion at his start of turn. I don't know what else I would want to do. He might have an answer to dispersion already. So if I insanity this, does it even matter? I doubt it. If I insanity this, his stuff gets smaller. Uh, and then I can... I mean, I'm just dispersioning no matter what. Maybe I want to leave up Tithe as well in case he has... You know, a bunch of answers in hand for my dispersion. Two, three, four, five. That... Tithe is basically just a better insanity at the moment, so I'll take it. Just hope my dispersion lets me live. If I take this, how much does he do? Zero, three down to, so one, two, zero. That's four down to two. Plus, so he deals six exactly, so I am dead. Th uh, even through a missing Grand Crusader. So it looks like just, just dispersion. The game might go a little bit better if we get a Tahan and play and can do something with it, but I I might need it as a resource, honestly, so I can do two of these cards in one turn. I guess that's it. Pass. <laughs> there is merit in... Uh, attacks. There it is. Okay. Well, bought me some turns. It's been a very awkward draw for us. Combo pieces came together in a real non-combo friendly way. Now we have our tithe in case we need to... Ah, okay. He's got a bunch of those. Well, maybe we should have burned oh. face. Jeez. All right, we'll go ahead and get our triggers in, and let's see, we get a damage ping here. It's going to be five less. Hmm. I can deal five to this Berta. 
it's one, two, three, four, five. No, uh, sorry, this is just three, so it's six total. So it'll be six. What can we deal six to? Berta will not die. She'll have... She is a lot of extra health. This guy only has two health. I could knock one of these down. So what, just ping the Grumder? Kill that guy. I, wait, he has plus... Yeah, he has exactly six health. So we just ping him, kill him down, so he's just one less attacker. Or do I need to ping my opponent for six and try to do something before this dispersion runs out? What do I need to do here? We have six. Are we going to shoot an ally? They're all enormous. Or are we going to shoot our opponent's face? Maybe we should have gone face those earlier turns. I, I don't know. What would I even insanity target? Uh, still thinking this journey trigger. It's six damage, so limited targets. What line could we win? Valera and do a bunch of triggers? I don't have a Valera. We could draw a leap of faith. No, we can't, because this will fall off. Uh, mine spike's not too great anymore. I'm just going to shoot my opponent's face for six and see if there's any... No, I mean, I need to clear this. This board's huge. I'll get two protectors, but he's got a million attackers. I don't know. I don't have a lot of hope here. Let's just go face and see if we can find a line. I guess we'll just shoot your face for six. Bonk. Let's go ahead and quest here. Mm -hmm. Another capture. Capture doesn't do a whole lot. I'm just going to insanity take both these blockers, but I don't think that will do enough here. Oh, I guess this is free to cast. I don't I don't think I have a chance now. <laughs> oh, it's not a token. There. I guess that's my turn. Let's draw a card for free. And it's my turn. Draw another card. I don't know how I'm going to deal 23 to my opponent next turn. <laughs> We're going to do what we can. We just put this guy in play. He can bounce all his guys into it and kill him. But I want to do something with my free insanity trigger. It's possible I should have waited. That way I would have two fresh blockers. He can just kill this guy. Oh. I've obviously... And let's see. He is now four six, and then let's add one counter here. And go. Okay, everything's enormous. Uh, I can make a trigger, shoot this guy for six, then I can tithe. Uh, I can insanity and take the other Glowhin, or take a Grand Crusader. I don't think it will really matter. He just gets to swing for a million and I die. Alright, I think I'm super dead. I guess we'll go to game two. Okay.
All right, here we go for game two. I'll take another Dispersion. I will take a Goran. We wanted to bring in, I think maybe two Masks was the right number. Don't need Scourge of Lordaeron. Do want the other Tithe. Don't want Zingho. Okay, we need to make five cuts to rate this Diversion. Sometimes I just need quests, but that card's real slow. Uh, we had a pretty abysmal hand that game, and we certainly managed to lose it. Leap of Faith, we will cut one. They're good at resetting dispersions, but can be weak in a lot of board states. Let's cut a Life Warden. He triggers stashes, but often don't do anything else. We can cut Devouring Plagues, expensive do-nothing card in this matchup. I might need to cut some kind of quest here. I could cut both Life Wardens. Although sometimes it's the only ally, ally I can just play on the board to try and do something. Leap of Faith is cheap and works on Dispersion, so I might need to lean heavier into that. Okay. I don't want a bunch of expensive stuff in my hand. I will keep that one. I cut a Tarathus because that one doesn't like do anything. Yeah, with two masks, this feels pretty good. I still need to make one more cut. I could cut a Seeds. Restless Dead is real slow. At least Guess I draw you card. drawing basically no quests was really helpful. I've seen some better hands throughout the tournament, but that happens sometimes. Yeah, let me, let me guess but, your but hand you can't is see much worse, first. right? I mean, if you have no quest, the deck doesn't work, so this is like the worst you can have. With other things, you can you can go because you can always stick for the cards you need. Yeah, I do need the quests, actually. Um, Insanity is really expensive. I don't know that I'm going to want that many six-drop Insanities in my deck. I know it's also one of the only spells that impacts the board. As I suppose Man, this other life warden. Still awake. I'll just cut one insanity. I think I have enough interaction. I just want to amazing be able to it's, put my question. It's, it's almost ten o'clock here, and he's still so full of energy. Well, sounds like you are too. Good luck, have fun, go in game two. <laughs> I'm not so full of energy. Oh, I see. I have only fifty nine cards. Sorry. Let me quickly scoop and sideboard again. I yeah, that's fine. Probably, did take one out too much here, huh? Okay, this is game two of the finals. Uh, Rancord won game one. Mm. All right, looking at my first hand, I've got multiple concerted efforts, which is the best quest. Uh, no Elec, no Mind Spike, no Tahan, but we do have a taste to answer something. We certainly have better hands, but I also don't want to pitch multiple multiple great cantrips into that can likely find the things we need. We can just hit a blind Valera into some of those things. We can leap a Faith Valera if we have to. We can also produce much, much more explosive starting hands, so it's possible this is something we should throw back. But I am willing to lean on these concerted efforts and see if we can find some pieces. I will keep this hand. Um, then I need to think, because my hand ain't bad for going first, but for going second, ah, well, I'll play this hand. I'd rather play a hand than throw it away. We'll find out then. Here is my land. Pass. Yeah, I unfortunately have to use our journey triggers and here to pass. get our quests into play. I, I really like Lady Bancroft, so, I mean, I have a good hand, That that's not, but... It's always hard against this Shadow Priest to know what what kind of good hand is against it. We got a Tithe and a Legacy. I think right. we will go ahead and take the Tithe. Nice. Bottom of the other two. Another concerted efforts. Let's take it. And then the question is, do we taste of divinity? I don't think so. I think we're just going to quest here and pass. Pass back. Don't really want to put this mask into play until I have a chance to like take one of my opponent's cards away. Or I can wait for him to flood the board and just name the two ongoings he plays. Knowing that he can just chipper this for three at any time, which oh, certainly you're doing something. Oh, sorry. Okay. Attack. 
Take two. Berta. Questing. Yeah. I'll pass my turn. Not exactly finding our pieces yet. And Tithe is really no good versus Berta Bancroft. We've already seen that interaction. Doesn't do much for me. Well, we can eat another trigger here and just put the concerted efforts into play. You know, that's just where we're headed. I'm not really saving these triggers. I need to use this mana proactively. Don't really have a whole lot going on here. Oh man, we're at eight cards. I guess we'll taste this Berta once and then I can either finish her off or just kill this bank this uh this Bancroft. Maybe that's what I'll do. Nah, I'll just kill the Berta. She's she's out of play. I don't have to worry about her anymore. Just kill the Berta. Alright, well, I ran over cards, so I just decided to go ahead and kill this Berta while I could. Single taste of entities made its you know, been a nice cheap gap filler. Yeah, we have Alec and Tahan in here somewhere, but they're not showing up for this draw. We'll have to find out though after this next flip what we get. That's a Grand Crusader. Oh one, two. Actually I'll respond. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, didn't get it. All right, we got a Tahan and a Dispersion. So we'll take the Tahan. Let's bottom the Mind Melt and put the Dispersion under. Take four. And your turn. Yeah. Not exactly a huge turn, but let's just ping for one. Pink. Ping you for one. Yeah. Yeah. And we can leap of faith next turn. Uh, so we'll just use our two mana. Might just hit our opponent for one. It's probably okay. Uh, we could just go ahead and mask now. Maybe that's better. What do you name? Ah, Grand Crusader. Grand Crusader. Good. There we go. We'll save the seeds probably for our first Valera trigger. And we might even leap a Faither again. It'd be nicer if we had an Elec to kind of complete this proactive combo since we have stopped our opponent from doing much. He might shut our whole hand off here soon, so I want to get a Valera in play so we can try and draw out of that. He knows about one of the tithes. Double tithe should be able to slow his deck down. Take two. Can't really do any damage to her. We chose to... Shoot our tastes at. I think I'll draw a card here. Berta, knowing that we could kill the Berta later in the game, but would like to at least shut down some of my opponent's card advantage if we can also shut down their speed. If I take his Grand Crusader with Insanity, it's on my side of the field and it's not turned mm -hmm. off. That's the key. We also tried to reveal our quest to see if we could do a Goran to turn off this Grand Crusader for a free two-for-one. Haven't gotten there, but my opponent plays probably like eight to twelve of those effects. He plays the Blessing that kills ongoing abilities. Strike for two. And go. Yeah, I don't think I want to complete seeds here. I'm a big fan of insanity, generally just insanitying Ashnar. Then I just get to kill this guy. I guess I would just ping this guy with my journey trigger. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Pink, kill this guy. Use my six mana to insanity the Ashnar. I could also insanity one of his quests here. Defias Brotherhood puts him the furthest ahead. He'll have another ally for that soon enough. If we ever get an Elec though, then 
the Ashnar is huge, at least our opportunity. We can also just kill this stuff with attacks. Maybe that's the, the better play here. Resource, ping this for one. Uh, I guess then we just put our Valyra in, see what we get with her first. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll have enough to leap Valyra again, so maybe we'll get some more triggers after that. Let's ping this guy for one. Bye bye. Go ahead and complete seeds. There's a mine spike. I don't have any way to draw a mine spike at this moment, and no way to pump it up, so mine spike's no good. Goodbye. We will leave that quest there. Go ahead and cast a cheap Valera. Valera. There she is. There she is. There she is. That was a good one. Let's kill the Ashnar now. Sleep of Faith Valera again. Mm hmm. Okay, not so good that time. I'll pass her now. In hindsight, I had another option last turn, which would have been better. <laughs> but obviously hindsight. Every hand's a little different, huh? I haven't really exploded in any of these games. Oh, I had, um, you know, I had another option to play the last turn where I wouldn't have played any units. And just prepared for this turn. I thought, ah, let's, let's load up. And because you had Valera and hit two quests, or uh, you would have, because you had Valera and Leap of Faith and hit at minimum two quests, it kills my, uh, it kills my Ashnar, which is annoying. All right, now what do we do? All right, soon I have the opportunity to cast my insanity on one of my opponent's resources. Defias Brotherhood is usually the the best for him. It's easiest for him to actually complete it once he gets enough guys in play. That makes no sense. I'm in a position, though, where I can start trading my Valera and Tahan pings to keep his board clear so that this quest can never go off. So maybe I want to take an Orders. But the second Orders is, like, useless after you have the first one. Play. Let's play Chipper and kill the Voodoo Mask. Okay, that's a bummer. That's happening. Well, we knew that was going to happen, so maybe maybe the extra masks are necessary for that reason. We have one more in the deck, but we are choosing not to play a third. Let's play this on her, and then let's trade with Alira. And your turn. Let's quest into turn. Mm -hmm. Pair of dispersions at the bottom. Do it again. Oh, I should have done this in response in case I flipped a gore in. That was a mistake for me, and I didn't didn't matter, but still. There's always a way to play better. Okay, well, we can... Valera, this ally has... Oh, her, her last health is unpreventable. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare. Alright, well, if I can pop either of these off, then we'll be okay. Which I can also do that with Valera. 
uh, Valira. Any Gorans that blow up a Grand Crusader will kill her as well. So we can actually recover in this game. Okay. I can rare bean first. Tons looking of cards. For, I can pay. Let's see. I can pay three to draw some cards. I don't have five mana left. I can rare bean for two. With one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven mana left. I'm sorry, I'm not counting well. We are in. Give me some pairs of threes. All right, we're at seven mana going up to eight. Yeah, I got some options here in the tank for a moment. We can Valera first to see what we get into play before, because we might be able to pick up an Elec with Rare Bean. None of these can actually kill the Bancroft, because all the triggers come from my hero. I just don't know that we have a way to... Oh, yeah, we're, we're looking for reveal triggers to kill this Grand Crusader. Okay, maybe we Rare Bean first. Look for an Elec for the next turn to power some of that up. Let me look for rares. We have a dispersion if it gets to that point. We're at a time when insanity on maybe a commas promise or orders. Although we're never going to complete that. So I don't know that that's the right call. Hmm, eight resources. We can draw two more cards, but I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'd like to get an Elec in play and set up so I can get some value. So maybe that's the first thing we do. Okay, we will ping your hero for one. I'll take one damage. And then let's complete it. We're going to name blue. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it. Tahan? Uh -huh. What did it take? Here we go. Yeah, it was a Tahan. Okay. That's not what we wanted. That's not an Alec. That could be worse. Now we go ahead and Valera for one. What's Valera for one? Mm -hmm. That's the third Valera we see. Disgusting. Now there's the fourth. Oh, goody. All right, we're going to Goran blow up your Grand Crusader, and... Yeah, it's good. G -g she'll die. That's a bit... That's a bit... Uh, I thought your hand with the three quests which lets you dig is a bit too good anyway. That's no chance. Okay, do you want to keep playing or do you want to call it there? All right. No, 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 let's go. Game three, there's no, no use here. That was a good, too good hand for me to beat. Good game then, good game then. Let's, uh, I'm going to check out the board for a moment. Hmm. Life Warden. I love the triggers, but man, it's it's real slow sometimes. Leap of Faith was real good that game. It just had to line up well. Legacy is so expensive, I end up resourcing this. It does slow the games down. I have one Insanity out. I feel like I want to bring in this other mini Voodoo Mask. Last Relic. I think I'll be willing to get rid of the Last Relic. Once my life's really under threat, then that card's not doing anything. It doesn't help me clear the board. I like this better. I got rid of the Last Relic, brought in a third Mask. Fine with that. We are down to two leaps. We could consider cutting something to bring a third leap in. Okay. All right. Good luck. Have fun for game three. Are you going to go first? Yes. <laughs> All right. This is a terrible. Uh, is it terrible? Yeah, it's terrible. Oh, this hand is fantastic for us. We have a Tehan with masks to turn off Grand Crusader, Dispersion if it gets too hot, um, Taste to kill early guys. This, yeah, this hand I is... I think I'll move again. This is okay. terrible. I'm going to keep. Concerted Efforts is very powerful. We already have a Tehan in play. so It's possible we even put a mask down as our first face down. have a legacy real expensive 
don't know that I want to make a decision with, with what I'm doing with this six drop at the moment. My hand is mostly cheap things. I think I'll I'll get more expensive things later on. Let's keep the cheap things so I can think about how to interact with that. No, I want to I want a quest. I only have two of these though. Still, I think I'd like to spend my first mana doing something smart. Pass. And then that quest. Let's use our first. Uh, let's use our first resources wisely here so we can see if we're going to end up drawing the Elec, and then we can find some other things to face down. We might, we may want this legacy if we can get it into play cheaply, then we, we need some kind of a payoff. And attack. Okay, and well, go. I'm naming that with Mask. What's the quest? I got a Dispersion and another Tahan. Hmm, opponent doesn't know about either of these right now. Tahan gives me more late game and I can just pitch it if I don't need it. And in case they blow it up. They're going to have a lot of equipment targets, so if I show them the Mask plus the Tahan, I don't know what they'll pick, but... I get a lot of time if I... Take this dispersion, just guaranteed time. Whereas the Tahans do get blown up by chippers. Just due to pure usefulness, let's take the dispersion. If he gets the other Tahan, and then he gets it. Let's let's do a dispersion here. What did you take? Um I took a dispersion. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I would like to quest and then <laughs> mask or something, something else, but this is what our current hand is. Um, so I think we're going to maybe flip a mask face down, or let's do one of these dispersions. We always, we can always resource a mask later. Crusade of Kings. Dispersions are temporary in a game where card advantage is going to be really important. Mm -hmm. We didn't cast a Tihan, which is something we could have done to ramp us into a turn three Valera. I'm, one. I'm aware I didn't do that. And go. Not sure what I'm reacting to over there of my opponents. Two open mana. Mm hmm. Let's ping your guy. Yeah. Boink. Okay. And we have two open mana, so we can go ahead and concerted efforts now. Look for a card to put us up to our seventh. What we'll quest now? Mm hmm. Actually, do we want to do that? Maybe we just leave this open. Ah, never mind. Back to you. Cool. Pony okay. basically gets GG. Turn. Wow. You win. I have only quests in hand. That was the worst hand ever. <laughs> I had one union, one buff, and six quests. And now I drew the next quest. Which I and, and it was also uh, Defy's Brotherhood, which I can't solve. Wow. Okay. Well, hey man, <laughs> we're only here on turn three, but I th you know what's going on in your hand, and I don't. No, I uh, have only quests which I can't solve, so I'm I'm way too slow. I I need to have a one drop, a two drop. I mean, the two drop um, Crusade of King was just like okay, I have nothing to play. I cannot. I could draw a card with a quest, but then I need to draw a one drop. So let's just get the Crusader out to have used my mana, and then next turn maybe I can do something. But okay, that so was nothing. You got the reverse into the aggro draw and just got like an unplayable hand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All uh, right. There's people in chat trying to figure out what's going on. So what did you draw? Seven quests. Yeah, I had all quests and the two cards you saw. 
and 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 the problem is it was old, I had I had the gold shire quest was the only doable quest. I had one Akama, three Defiers, and two two orders of Lady Vashi. I think. Yeah, I think it was thus. One report to Goldshire, three Defiers Brotherhood, two orders of Lady Vashi, and one Akama's promises, one of the sky, and one Crusader of the Kings. It's just unplayable. To be honest, the hand before Mulligan wasn't too good either. It had two quests and only protectors, no buffs. So that wouldn't wouldn't have flown either. Not either. Okay, well, they're but they're probably wondering like, where's the, the game? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there well, no sounds like that was a pretty uh, non-functional hand, but you know, I, I, you mulliganed I, I, aggressively. I think I still have work. it here, huh? Wait, I think I. Yeah, Mulligan. Wait, let me quickly show it. I think I had that. 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 And. One report, which I used, right? Okay, so these are a bunch of very powerful, like, Go wide quests, dump your hand, and then they have no functionality together whatsoever. Like they, the sequencing in this deck does matter. And yeah, you just but drew the wrong yeah, half. I mean, I have sixteen quests. Usually, I don't draw just all quests, and usually, usually, um, it doesn't quite matter. I, I I draw a bit more quests than usual, but but it doesn't. I mean, that's just the one out of don't know. That's that's the only time that happened this tournament. Like it's one out of. 40 hands or so, or 20 hands, there's nothing you can do if it just hits like that. I think I had one more card. Didn't I have one more? Three, four, five, six, seven. I drew three cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, uh, sorry, forgot one. I had a blessing of purity. Oh, that's right. Um, I think I had a blessing of purity above for nothing. Yeah, I technically would have saved that guy for a turn, but then I would have just killed him the next turn. Well, um, the th no, yeah. The thing is that I could have played it just blank out on the guy, but I drew it um, a turn later, right? So it was... And, and I knew you had a dispersion on hand. So and and there's always um, legacy of the horde. Yeah, you had some limited options there, and it just looks like, you know, you drew a non-functioning hand. You are, you mulliganed out of no, something this, that was. This this hand does not get me anywhere, because I um, I I would need to draw minions, but I can't keep them alive against the Tian if I have no buffs. So I would need to draw a, a Grand Crusader and he'll have so many options to to get rid of whatever I do and or even get just a hit on my hand. Well, obviously now you don't have anything, but I don't know that. But there are so many things that would need to go right for me and like top decking in other defiers is nothing, you know, because you can't just do anything. Well, you gave it's it a shot. You went, you went a few turns in, and I think game would have gone on for a bit, but I don't think you would have ever completed any of your quests. No, there's no... The problem is I need to... I mean, I could complete the quest if you kill my hand, but then I still got nothing, right? I just pay mana to... Yeah, I didn't even have that side of the coin there, so... Looks like that yeah, was it. That's 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 what that was the worst hand ever. If I had the hand of game one or game two in this game, it would it would have been quite good. Well, then maybe a, if, a rematch another just time. Just a lady be more bank, exciting. a lady Bancroft start. That alone uh, is, is a lot better, right? Yeah, Dex constructed to get a number of turn one guys out, and it just you know you went for an aggressive mulligan and. Mulligan is something unplayable. Sorry, it worked out that way. Yeah, no, uh, my my Mulligan was, was you know, I had I had an I had the one drop. I had the same. The thing was, I had a chipper and two quests, but the two quests which uh, 
uh, the Lady Vashi and the Defias Brotherhood, and I, I that that wasn't too good. I had no denial and I had no buff. So my problem is I have all one HP guys, like chipper. I had two chippers, but they are one HP, and they don't control my board. I I have a lot of one HP. I have no buff and I have no quests that I can easily trigger with that hand. So it would be the same because you just ping off everyone. Would have been a bit better and I could have played probably turn three or four. And But if a buff showed up, it's one buff, you had the answer. So it didn't matter. Well, we still have to play with those cards. You know, I can yeah, draw hands but, with amulets and then we just have to hope over the next five turns that you don't flood the board yeah, but, and I draw some the, the value. The, the hand I had in, in before Mulligan was was not had no option to win against you so I don't think it's an aggressive mulligan it was a necessary mulligan but they're just two unplayable hands and I think my hand in game two was quite good but uh, yours just aligned up perfectly you know I have a couple one drops I'll share the list here soon so I just took this shadow priest deck and I just started gold fishing it like alright let's see how this deck works and the main thing yeah, I liked yeah. about it was concerted efforts and worthy of passing. Not not worthy of passing. The rare bean. Yeah, yeah, worthy of passing would be horrible. <laughs> no, no, the deck is fine. It is. It, it depends who you end up with, right? Because it has some weak matchups, and then you just get slaughtered. But if you meet your, I mean, it's, it's like typical classic, right? In classic, like the druid. Beats every back deck but full aggro. And what did I meet? I meet uh, I meet Ben who. And the problem was that Balakor um, threw the games with with his DK. He should have easily won with his Bogmara, but he kept the hand. He kept the hand without extract, without corpse, without nothing to stop Bogmara. Oh, okay. And he said he kept it because he didn't want to get a worse hand, but. The thing, the thing is, versus Bogmaria, you just need the hand to stop her. You don't need the, you, you don't need your combo or any hand that that helps you win right away. You need you just, just need the to hand to stop him. You need to for five turns. Yeah, if if you have an extract out, it's uh, extract turn one is a real problem for Bogmara. It eats up so much damage, and if you have a corpse on top of that, it's over. But but just the extract. And and as he went first, he would have easily won that game that way. But he didn't mulligan, so obviously Bogmara just ran over him in three turns because he had no play on... Uh, he had the monster fire briefer in turn three, the 3-3 three, three monster drop. Oh yeah, it does nothing. Yeah, which which is not a good card for Classic anyway, but... I, I say it's okay, but, but it does just nothing against Bogmara, and then you're just dead. And and then I had to play him, and I knew that the Druid cannot in any way win this matchup. There is not a hand good enough for the Druid and a hand bad enough for Bogmara. Well, I, certainly there is one combination where Bogmara just draws quest, 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 and then the one drops later, that that would work. But that's not realistic. So that's that's why we failed with the druid last time. But I I, I stopped the shadow priest from entering top eight, and he left he left the Discord server now, right? He he doesn't play anymore. It was interesting. Well, it was nice getting to meet you finally. Uh, I finally get to play some games and. We'll have to play some... Sounds like Team Swiss is always, you know, having their huddle meetings. We don't have those over everywhere else. Uh, do you have a team? <laughs> no. I'm just saying, y'all have a, a, a gathering and everyone else seems to be gorilla coming out of the bushes with whatever they, whatever they brood.